Everybody's in this all black. I love you guys in the black. (laughs) It's at night. You can wear anything. You can, you can. So tell me about Josie and Jack. First of all, I love all of your work. I just want to say you, like, inspired the masses with your body of work. So hats off to you for that. But we're here tonight to talk about Josie and Jack. Tell me, how did you get involved in this project? Uh... My my manager sent me the script, you know, which is usually a represent, you know, rep will send you. I didn't know I'd met Sarah before. Mm-hmm. We have a friend of a friend. I'd met her years and years before, but I didn't really know her. And I got a copy of the script, and I and I called my manager back, and I said, I, I don't think it's for me. I just, you know, I, and I like it, and I like her. Just don't think it's for me. He goes reread it again. So I read it again, and I thought, I I get it. I get. It. I mean, it just. Sometimes you're just looking for something. Right. So I had a conversation with Sarah. So we set up a phone call, and I would just talk to her about the role and what she was thinking about him. I spoke to her for 15 minutes on the phone, and I called my manager back, and I said, I'm in, because I, I love my conversation with her. Right. And sometimes, I mean, uh, you, you never know, you know, what it is that, you like, you know, that makes you really want to do something, and I just thought she was... I just had such a great point of view and is such an unbelievably classy and talented lady that I um, changed my mind. You couldn't say no. You couldn't I resist. Couldn't no. <laughs> so tell me about your character in Josie and Jack. I know the book is a little dark and the film is a little bit, you know, of a creepiness. Well, I haven't seen the film yet, so I don't... S- tell us and about... Maybe, and you, don't, you truly don't know, uh, you know, until you, you see something. You have an experience of what it's like to shoot something. But um, that was just so great about being here and supporting Sarah tonight and all of us that worked on it. And, um, uh, but yes, is, uh, I, I play, uh, it's really about Josie and Jack, and I play their father, who is a guy that, um, he's got some issues. <laughs> I, I, you know, the rest. Yeah, exactly. He's got some issues, so we'll see. Uh, but, I, I, you know, I was, in talking to Sarah, I felt grounded because for me personally, I, I have to find something that a character cares about to make them real, right. and um, no matter what they do. And, uh, and we certainly discovered a lot of that together. Well, I spoke to the author, and she said that you brought out your character in ways that she wouldn't have dreamt that she, you know, wrote in the book. So you must have done a, an amazing job with what you did because the author said, like, you changed the whole dimension of that character. Well, that's very kind. And and, um, and she's here tonight, too, so that's, that's pretty cool. Um, I'm just happy about uh, a little... Listen, it's a weeknight. I, I go to I go to sleep at nine thirty, and this this Same. screening is is this late, and I'm like, no, it's Sarah. I'm going. Right. Do you have any upcoming projects before I let you go that are coming up that you want to tell the fans about? Uh, you know what I'm what I'm doing right now, and have been for the last few years is I uh, I, I produced and directed and co-wrote and played the lead in a film that I made, and it's actually uh, it gets released in theaters on November eighth, okay. called Cole Brook, and I'm I'm nearing the end of my journey on that. Okay. Literally in two weeks from now, okay. two weeks from tomorrow. Okay. And um, I'm in the final stages of doing some press for it, and, and I'm saying goodbye to it soon, and and I need to. Yeah. Well, we'll be looking out for, we'll it. Look out for it. We will. Thank you so much, Mr. William. I appreciate oh, your way. time. <laughs> Love the black moment. So I just have to tell you, I've followed you since Saved by the Bell. I'm so serious. Um, so I'm fangirling right now. But tell us, we're here right now at the Downtown Los Angeles Film Festival to talk about the film you've directed, Josie and Jack. Tell us, break it down for us. So Josie and Jack is uh, based on a book that was published in 2005 that I was a longtime fan of, and it sat on my bookshelf for years and years and years, and I finally got the gumption to reach out to the author who is right behind me and somehow some way convinced her to adapt the screenplay with me and here we are here we are so what are, what are fans what should they expect from this film i mean they shouldn't expect my work it's really different from my work it's dark and it's heavy um yeah, it doesn't reflect what you've known me as as an actress, but at the same time, that's why it's so special for me. Right. Was it a risk for you to take on such a role that was 
so far different from what you're used to? Yeah, the whole thing's a risk. Um, the whole thing's a risk. You know, Kelly took a risk saying yes to giving me the rights to her to her to her novel. My producers took a risk saying yes to a first time director. Um, it's all a risk. I'm putting myself out there in a different capacity that people aren't used to. And I think for many years, I felt like I had to stay in my lane, and I don't want to stay in my lane anymore. Hello. No. And speaking of, I think that's a really good point, especially being a woman director. Can you speak to that about how important it is for women to take risk? Because you never know if you don't make the jump or take the chance. Yeah. I mean, if that's something that your heart is telling you to do, listen, like I did the math the other day. I have done 271 episodes of television in my career. Five of those episodes have been directed by women. So that really shaped my experience coming up. I just did not see it as an example when I was coming up. For girls today, the tides have turned, the doors are opening, it's a different thing, and that's amazing, but we still have more work to do, right? Totally. So I'm excited um, to be here tonight again talking to you. Huge fan of your work, your body of work. Um, are you going to be directing more projects or is this something that you want to, you know, dip your feet in even more? Yeah, no, this is the goal. I mean, this is this is the next chapter of my life and I've got my next script that I've been working on. It's another adaptation of a book that I was a fan of, collaborating with that author again, same thing as Kelly. And um, yeah, do you want to talk to Kelly? <laughs> Thank you so much for speaking to us, Sarah. Looking forward to seeing what you do next. Thank you. Of course. Here with Ke Kelly, pronounce your last name for me. Braffitt. Braffitt. Nobody can spell it. Nobody can say it. It's unique, and I love it. Um, like, I love your hair. Your hair is beautiful. I love the color. But we're here to talk about your, your book-turned-movie. How did this even come about? Well, one day I got an email from Sarah, basically, saying, I love your book, and I've, been, I've loved your book since I was, good Lord, 16 or something like that. And I, it's, my, it's been my passion project to turn it into a film. And, of course, those are the words that every writer wants to hear. Like, we always want to hear that we're brilliant and that some, our work has had a profound effect on somebody. So when she, you know, offered to write the screenplay with me, I dove right in. It was a good time. Did it meet your expectations? Is this what you envisioned for your book turning into a film? It's far more than I envisioned, um, actually. It's amazing to see the dimension and the depth that actors bring to these characters that I've lived with and thought I knew, but I was just telling Bill Fitchner that there's... There's whole other layers that he adds to my character that I had no idea were there. And they make it stronger and richer. I was talking um, to Sarah about the importance of women right now and the opportunities and the risks that she took to reach out to you about, you know, having your book turn into a film. How important is it for female authors, female directors, whatever it is that females want to do, how important is it for them to take the chance and take the risk on themselves? Oh, I think that... The more female voices that we can have in all realms of life, politics, art, whatever, the better it is. And if, if you have something to say, then say it, whether it's at your school board or in a screenplay. Right. Thank you so much, Kelly, for taking the time to talk to us. Oh, 